going on? So, um, I'm trying to get a electronic setup for my Red Cat Volcano EPX Pro. Uh, it's a brushless four-wheel drive monster truck uh, type vehicle, 10th scale. Some of you guys may or may not be familiar with it. But um, when I bought it, I bashed it for a little while and uh, broke a couple things, broke a steering knuckle, so I upgraded that stuff with, uh, upgraded with some aluminum. Uh, the purple you see here, it's aluminum. And uh, right about that time, my son was four years old and he wanted to get into the RC uh, world. So I thought, well, <clears throat> before I go buy him an SCX-10, I um, figured I might slow this down a little bit. And I did. I put a 55 turn motor in it. I uh, can't remember what ESC I put in it. XL5 or something. And I let him run that thing around a little while. And he did good. He enjoyed it. And I was impressed uh, with his performance. He, We'd go out and uh, ride with the guys. And he'd stay in line. And we'd play follow the leader through the woods and all the trails and stuff. And he did really good. So he got, you know, he graduated to SCX10. And, uh, you know, he's got one now. It's, we've upgraded. And he's got this camo body that uh, his hard body, New Bright, makes. Uh, for their vehicles got that on there so he's moving on up well now my daughter's interested in him she just turned four <clears throat> so i figure same kind of scenario before i go out and i buy her an scx10 or uh, uh you know whatever truck she may want i figured that i would do the same thing let her run this first and then see where that goes so in order to get this thing back on the trails I'm going to need a few things. Uh, I'm going to need an ESC. I'm going to need uh, a radio. I need a receiver and a transmitter. I don't have any complete. I have a couple. Uh, you see up here, one is a RC4 drive XR4, and that's kind of a spare. That's my main crawler. Uh, that's the type that I use for my truck. Um, so this one had got damaged, and so I have kept it for kind of spare parts. And then I have a uh, ECX Torment remote, and I'm not sure. I don't remember if there was something wrong with this, besides the fact that the the rubber kind of came loose from the wheel here, so it, you kind of got to squeeze it when you turn it. But basically, I'm wanting to find a cheap radio setup um, 2.4 of course maybe a cheap uh, HPI or Traxxas or something anything to get her going and uh, I need to find an ESC um, brushed preferably um, after all it's going to be a crawler so uh, it's going to be a trail rig so that's kind of you know what we're going to do now I got something I you know I'm willing to throw up on the auction block is uh, kind of a trade or a parcel trade. I have an ECX boost buggy. It's a roller. Um, right now, it has a motor on it. Looks like it's uh, looks like it's the stock. I think it's a 15 turn uh, brush motor. But this thing's only been run. I think it's had maybe five packs through it. It's in uh, it's in really good shape. I mean, see the bottom of it. It's not it's not too bad. It's got a couple little scrapes across the belly pan, but <clears throat> it's in good shape. The body's in good shape. The tires are in good shape. The only uh, thing that's not stock on this thing right now, as far as I'm aware of, are these paddle tires, and those are in really good shape. They're almost like new. Um, I put some new bearings in the back. One of the bearings was missing when I got the vehicle uh, one of my best friends had the vehicle and he was uh just wanting to get rid of it so we did a little bit of, of trading um but yeah I, i'm wanting to trade this off for as much of the stuff as i can get to get this going so if any of you guys are interested um you can watch the videos on the boost this is the second one i've owned um 
it's a great little buggy. They make a Metal Gear kit that goes in this, and he told me that the Metal Gears are already in this, so that's another thing that uh, I didn't mention a second ago as far as upgrades go. It should have the Metal Gears in it, but I haven't looked, so I, I don't want to say 100%, but I'm pretty sure he told me that it had the Metal Gears in it. I put the Metal Gears in the other boost that I had, and uh, man, this thing jumps. It jumps so nice and smooth. Uh, you don't have to mess with the throttle too much. It's, it, it jumps nice and flat, lands good, and it's one of the best jumping vehicles that I've ever owned. And other than the fact that, you know, I need to get this uh, other RC running for my daughter, I'd probably hang on to it, but it doesn't see much runtime. You know, we're all into the, the crawlers. Um, so that's what I got. Um, I also, I make pool piles. So if, uh, see, I don't think I have any out here. I make pool piles, so, you know, somebody maybe, you know, I could throw in, uh, throw in a little bit of tube work, you know, but that's what's up right now. Um, that's kind of what I'm looking at, trying to do a little project I got. I'm going to try to get this body here on the ECX Torment for her. Uh, she wants it painted, so i got to remove all these decals and all that stuff. But and it's a hard body. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's a Radio Shack. I'm not positive about that. I'm pretty sure it's a Radio Shack truck. But uh, it's a cool F-150 body. Probably going to do a little bit of uh, tube work maybe to enforce, to make some kind of a structure for that, uh, that hard body to mount to. Because I don't really want to just Velcro it or anything like that. I'm not really keen on that. Uh, on that way of mounting things, but uh, yeah, like I said, if any of you guys are interested in the little boost buggy, it's a fun little truck. It's uh, you know great for beginners as well as you know it's fun for guys that's been doing it for years. And uh, parts are cheap, readily av available. Um, I don't know. I really can't say anything bad about it. Once you got the metal gears in the rear end. Uh, you know, it's you know pretty much brushless ready. I I ran mine in brushless and didn't have any problems out of it. So, uh, anyways, guys, if you can help me out, let me know. Um, we'll work out something with the shipping and uh, yeah. Other than that, you guys enjoy your weekend.